Welcome to Motion. In today's tutorial, we'll explore our new exciting feature, integrating meetings and events directly into your projects and into your project workflow templates. We all know that meetings are a crucial part of any project. In fact, they can make up more than 50% of the work involved. But until now, tracking these meetings within your project management tool has not been easy. And that's why we've enhanced Motion to seamlessly include meetings and events right into your projects and your project workflow template, giving you a complete view of all project activities. Before we dive in, let's quickly recap what project workflow templates are and how they help you with your SOPs. Standard operating procedures are the heartbeat of your business. They are the outline of how work gets done, ensuring consistency and efficiency. Motion's project workflow templates let you codify these SOPs into repeatable, actionable workflows. And now, with meetings integrated, your workflows are more powerful than ever. Today, I want to show you how it works by giving you a demo. First, let's add an existing meeting into a project. So I'm going to go here in Motion. I'm going to create a meeting right in here. I'm going to call it Project Kickoff. When I save the event, I now get the option to add it to a project. So I'm going to add it to this project, Automotive SEO Optimization. Once I add the meeting to this project, I have the ability to put it in the client onboarding stage, and I can use any of the custom fields that are associated with it. For example, this is my client. I can also set up blockers. For example, I can say that this event is blocking another task. For example, this task. And so monitor campaign is going to happen after the kickoff meeting is done. Now let's go here and find automotive SEO optimization. And you can see that right here, the meeting shows right along with all the other events. You can see that the duration is counted towards the project duration. It has its blockers and all the other fields that you would expect to be associated with. I can grab this meeting and move it to a different stage. For example, let's say this project kickoff actually happened in content creation. And we'll see that the meeting moves right down here. It also has a schedule date right in line. So we know exactly what's happening with the project. Let's actually move this meeting to campaign execution, keep everything nice and tidy. And now you see that everything lines up. So we want to invite some participants to the meeting. I can open up the meeting and open up the scheduling assistant. So for example, if I go to this week, you will see that my calendar shows up in gray. And if I had any guests, I can add them right here. And you will see their calendars pop up right in this view. So I'm going to choose this time and I'm just going to move the meeting to that time. And when I go back to my calendar, we'll see it right here. You might be asking yourself, why does this show up grayed out? And why does it show up completed? Well, because I moved the meeting to the past. So any meeting that's in the past, Motion automatically assumes that it's been completed. If I grab this meeting and I put it right here, it's in the future now. So if I go back to this project, you'll see that the meeting is now in the to-do stage, not in the completed stage. Okay, so now let's look at how meetings and events can be added to a project workflow template. This is very easy to do. So let's go ahead into our client engagements, workspace settings. We're going to go to project templates and I'm going to use the client project, edit it right here. You'll see that now we have a task or event option when we create a task. So I want to go and change this task type because you see it's called schedule and oversee meetings. I'm going to change that to an event. I'm going to say kickoff meetings. And what this will do is this will create a task for a human, which will be me in this case, because I'm going to be the project manager to create the meeting and it will automatically add it to the project. So there's more information here on how that works. So let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so now let's go back to client engagements and let's go ahead and create a new project by pressing P. We're gonna use a client project template and we're gonna call it new restaurant website. Click continue. Project is going to start today through December 10th. We're gonna leave these alone. Click continue. And our content writer is gonna be Aisha, SEO Ben. Graphic designer is gonna be me in this case. And I'm also gonna be the project manager. I'm going to continue, and I will see that the project has created. In the project itself, we're going to see this new task type. You'll see that it has a little calendar within the task status button. This is called a meeting task, and it's a special kind of task. This task allows you to, in one click, create a meeting for this project. Let's take a look at the calendar. This is scheduled on Wednesday, November 6th. So let's go back to the calendar and look at Wednesday, November 6th. You'll see that right here. It also has this icon, right? And I can, for example, marketing progress, blocked, backlog. So I click on the task. It's just a regular task. There is a meeting task. With one click, I can go here and schedule an event. I can create an event or choose an existing event. So I'm going to go ahead and choose an existing event. And you'll see that motion allows me to pick any event on my calendar. For example, this one, which I can't pick because it's already part of a different project. I'm going to go back to schedule event. I'm going to choose create an event. As you can see, motion automatically fills up the event name. And I can go back to my scheduling assistant and schedule uh, this event for next week. So for example, I want to do this, let's say tomorrow between 2 and 3 p.m. And I know that I can do it right here. And I go ahead and select this time. 
I can add my conference settings, set it as busy or free. I can even create it from a different calendar if that's something I need to do, and I can change the color. Let's make this one rose. All right, let's go ahead and create the event. As soon as I create the event, you'll see that Motion creates an event within this project. So I now have a kickoff meetings for a new restaurant website, and it's within the new restaurant website project. Let's go and verify what actually happened. And so I have here kickoff meetings for the new restaurant website. And I know that it's in the restaurant website project. Let's go take a look at that project. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to open the project, and you'll see that we have an event here for this project and the task to schedule the event, it's up here and it's completed. So open the task list view to get a better sense of what this did. We'll see right here that this meeting task has been completed. It took me 15 minutes to do. Maybe it actually took me, I don't know, five minutes to do. Let's not overstate things. And you see that the motion takes all this into account. If I want to view the event, because I want to edit it or whatever, you can always click on view event right on that task, opens the event, opening the task, opens the task. And if I need these tasks to happen after this meeting, I can just go here and say that this task is blocked by this meeting. This task is also blocked by this meeting. And this task is also blocked by this day. So now you'll see that these tasks that were all on November 7th, one of them is in November 8th. Let's go and verify. And when we go back to the calendar, we will see that kickoff meetings is right here. And then the rest of the tasks happen after this meeting. And with that, that's how meetings and projects work. It's very easy to do, very easy to set up, and it's going to be very easy to set up your project workflow templates. By integrating meetings into your projects and templates, you're going to get a unified view of all activities. You're going to be able to improve accountability, enhance team collaboration, and boost your overall efficiency. That's it for me today. Now you're ready to supercharge your project management with Meetings in Motion. Thank you for watching and happy scheduling. Bye-bye.